Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Dr. Doreen Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Hi, have you had any experience with kiddos taking Namenda? His biomed doctor wants to put my son on Namenda with, uh, to help with symptoms, especially hyperactivity. My son laughs excessively. It's an escape behavior. He also laughs excessively when he's nervous. I know it's not yeast. We've tested him for yeast and they said, it's exhausting. We're sending you a hug. Yeah, it is. I, I'm sending you a hug. But um, I just, okay, so a couple of quick answers to that. One is that, you mentioned that it's an escape function, so that would indicate that he is specifically laughing in order to get out of situations. And so let's deal with each of these one by one. When he laughs, do not let him get rid of the situation. Don't, do not get it, allow him to uh, you know, delay something. Continue working with him and ignore the laugh. You also mentioned that he also laughs when he's anxious. Um, that's a completely different function. So let's make sure we can do whatever we can to reduce his anxiety. Sometimes it's just something as basic as allowing him to hold on to his favorite stuffed animal or increasing reinforcers in his environment. Um, or, you know, does he have other things that could lead to anxiety? Like, is he sleeping okay or not? So let's make sure we deal with the anxiety. That's probably important to, for the physician to deal with. Now, Nemenda is usually a medication that's given for dementia patients, right? And it does have, it does, it is, it's supposed to clear up cognitive activity. It's supposed to increase your cognitive activity and make you just a kind of a little bit more clear in your thinking. It does have some side effects. One of the side effects is it makes you tired. And I don't know if the physician is trying to use it in order to balance out the hyperactivity. Um, I'm not sure, but Namenda has other side effects too. For instance, a lot of people have nausea from Namenda or dizziness. So I'm not sure that I would go to Namenda as a solution for ADHD, hyperactivity. I'd want to know a lot more about the hyperactivity. Is it a is it the hyperactive type of ADHD or is it just the, you know, is he just distractible and does he have issues with inhibition? What is, what's the overall profile? There's different types of ADHD. Um, and then there's other medications. If you even want to try other medications, maybe you've already tried them. Namenda would probably be something that happens after you've tried the standard medications for ADHD. Hopefully that helps. Yes. Um, long question here that I'm mostly going to refer to tomorrow because uh, we have Bonnie Yates, special education attorney, on the show tomorrow live taking questions. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.